talking toys. I thought I would make a video of going over the condition of each and every figure of what you should be on the lookout for. So if and when you're trying to purchase a certain figure, most of the figures have its own common problem that you should always be on the lookout for. Now they all suffer from discoloration and loose limbs, but there's also a bunch of other figures that just has its own problems that you should always be on the lookout for. So I think this video will be good if you're looking to pick out the best example for your own collection or even to send in for grading. This is not a video about whether you should grade or not. This is just about picking out the best example for your collection and do whatever you want with it and what you should look for on each figure. I will go through the whole line of each figure individually. Half of them have its own problem and the other half are just all the same, but I'll go through it all slowly. So the first figure I'm gonna go through would be Luke Farmboy. Now he's one of the toughest figures to find in mint shape and especially to get in a high grade. Majority of the problem with him is discoloration. He discolors a lot, very often. So he'll turn a brownish color or like an off-white type yellow. And that's always a problem with him. And if you do send one in for grading, even though he's mint everywhere else, I think he automatically gets like a 75 or an 80 once he's discolored. So no matter how mint he looks and you wanted to get it graded or whatever, don't send it in for grading because he will score low because of, you know, of his discoloration. But another problem to look for for a Luke Farm Boy is his hairline. Usually he gets hair rubs, rubs on his head for his hair. And also his head is always loose. So for whatever reason, Luke Farm Boy, this is a double, double telescoping one. For whatever reason, a lot of the Lukes get a loose head. So when you're looking for a Luke and you want to pick out the best example, just be on the lookout for discoloration, a loose head, and um, you know, make sure his saber is also in his good condition because if you do send in for grading, accessories do play a part in the grade also. So you can't send in a saber that's been chopped in half. That's gonna, you know, hurt the overall grade. So for him, rubs on his head, discoloration, that's what you should be on the lookout for. Next is Leia. As you can see, my case is broken from AFA because my son dropped it on the floor. So I have to upgrade this figure. But for her, you need to look for also discoloration. She seems to discolor a lot. The cape and her chest and her arms and legs always seem to be like an off-white color. So for her, she's pretty simple. Just, fr just try and find the whitest example as possible and make sure you get the dark blue black blaster for her, which is her original one, not a blue blaster, but a dark black blue. That's her original gun. It's obviously more expensive, but that's the problems you wanna look for her. Next would be Stormtrooper. Also, the same thing with him is he discolors a lot. He always turns a different color, like an off-white, and sometimes it gets yellowish or brown. He is very hard to find nowadays, all solid white. Besides for his black paint, you know, to make sure that his black paint is done correctly, you just wanna make sure for discoloration first. Because again, he can be as mint as you can possibly find him, but if his, you know, arms and legs and torso is discolored, he's gonna, you know, grade overall low. So, be on the lookout for that also. Darth Vader, he doesn't really seem to have a lot of problems normally. He will suffer from the usual paint rubs. Always check his cape, especially under his armpits to see if the cape has ripped or not. Um, accessory, make sure the saber is intact. But again, he has his little chest plate here with his buttons. Just make sure that that's not rubbed out. But for the most part, finding a mint Darth Vader is not that hard. So he's a pretty common one to find. R2-D2, make sure that his sticker is nice and white if you want to find it. Make sure that there's no scratches and scuffs. You always want to check kind of like under his armpits too, under his arms, because as you're swinging his legs back and forth, it can kind of 
start hitting the tape and it can start peeling on the sides. So you always wanna make sure you check the sides to see that there's no peeling. But for the most part, finding a nice white R2 with no scuffs on his dome. You want a nice clean dome also with the blue paint and the chrome. You always wanna make sure that that's as nice as possible. That's his problem. And finding a nice one of him is actually getting harder too. Han Solo, again, his arms, for whatever reason, tend to turn like a light gray every time he degrades a little bit. But for the most part for him, it's just paint rubs for him also. And as you'll see, as I go through the figures, I would say half the figures suffer from the same exact problem, which is either discoloring, loose limbs, or paint rubs. But some other figures also have their own distinct um, personality that you should be on the lookout for when finding a mint example. But for him, it's just the usual ones. C-3PO. So as you can see, he's gold and he, you know, nice and shiny. He tends to turn like a dull color and he starts, like the gold starts to rub off and it starts to look like, like a silver gray kind of chrome. And also for him though, his limbs, he becomes like a wet noodle. This thing becomes so loose that he doesn't even stand up anymore on its own. So if you're trying to find a mint example or the best example of him possible, try and find him as shiny and gold as possible and make sure that his limbs are tight. He either suffers from his limbs get ultra tight where like they kind of freeze in place, which I'd rather have that than one that looks like a wet noodle where his arms and legs are flailing like he's doing gymnastics at the Olympics. So this is a nice example. He's an 85 and again, He's not that hard to find, you know, a nice example of, but they're out there. Next is Chewbacca. He suffers from the exact same thing. Sometimes he'll have some paint discoloration to his arms and just make sure his bandolier is nice and white with the paint on the front and the back. And for him, that seems to be, you know, the common problem. His eyes sometimes are different colors and not painted correctly. I've seen a lot of examples about that, but for the most part, that's what you want to be on the lookout for Chewbacca. Death Squad Commander, same thing. Paint rubs, always check for paint rubs. He has his emblem in the front here, that's red and blue. Make sure that it's solid. Make sure his belt is solid silver. Make sure his gloves are still black. People like to shove the blaster in the hand to hold his weapon, and that's perfectly fine. Unfortunately, sometimes it will scratch the inside of his hand also. So for him, it's the usual, just make sure that there's no paint rubs. So again, he's an easy one to find an example of. Here's a Jawa. For him, he seems to get loose limbs also a lot. And just make sure that his cape is whole, that there's no holes or slits and you know markings on it finding a mint one of him also again is not hard at all they're out there so he's an easy one to get but just look at his cape when trying to find a jawa and his lungs then you got obi-wan obi-wan has sometimes his cape discolors it turns like a different color and you could tell when you're putting it up next to another one that it kind of like degrades a little bit and he seems to get like paint rubs on his hands. So always check his hands also because the paint always seems to rub on, on there. And you know, again, he's not that hard to find a mint example of if you look. So they're out there of him too. Tuscan Raider. For him, it's the cape, the same thing. It seems to get like molded almost. It degrades and turns into a different color. And sometimes it looks completely full where it looks like it's the color it should be, but if you hold it up next to a correct one, it's not, it's like an off color. So just make sure that the cape hasn't degraded because that discolors very easily. And again, you wanna make sure that the horns and, and the spikes on top are fully painted and there's no rubs on the top. And his hands, since they're brown, you wanna just make sure that his hands are solid and that there's no paint rubs. This just goes back to a Jawa. This is the vinyl cape Jawa. I figured I'd throw this in since I'm doing the first 12. Um, for him, just make sure that obviously the cape is real, first of all, because there's so many fakes out there. 
I'm not gonna get into how you can tell that it's real or not, but just check the cape. Always check under the armpits when purchasing a vinyl cape Jawa. That's where it always seems to be ripped, is under the armpits. People don't show the picture of that, so when they show a front and a back view, he looks great. But you always wanna look underneath to see what's going on under that armpit of his. Not, not that you wanna smell it or anything like that. You just wanna to check to see if it's ripped or anything. So, those are the common problems that you should be looking for for the first 12. As I said, I'm gonna go over the whole entire line. Um, once you get into Empire, some of them have their own problems and their own distinct things that you need to look for. And I will get into all of that. So I figured I'd start here and any questions, please just ask. Um, we're always willing to help. Make sure you like and subscribe and just keep following us, all right? We have a free graded Boba Fett 80 that we are handing out for free to everyone who subscribes to our channel once we get 1,000 members. So please, if you just like to watch us, please subscribe, it actually does help. Um, we need to reach 1,000 members once we hand out the free Boba. So thank you all for tuning in and I'll check you out later.